and a wee bit uncomfortable around here for my teeth. Rupert's right. This is not our fight. I'll saddle the horses. You take hold of Claire. You'll be away from here this very night. How would we live? Horrocks was my best chance. Now maybe we're an outlaw for good. We live up the land. What does Castle Life need you saw? You have me sleeping under a tree come winter with my wife. Leave her there. We can send for the last when we find safe beds. <sighs> Spoken like the unwed man, you are. For pity's sake, Jamie. It's either up tail and away, or we stay and pick a side. It's not like Colin's gonna give Diggleback a go. Not that I see that it matters much either way. Only Prince isn't sailing from Italy anytime soon. Clansman brawls with clansmen, that my own brother defies me. How can there be peace until such disloyalty is punished? Not well, chastising the guilty might soothe your anger, but I doubt it will accomplish anything more. The bad blood will only fester, leading to more violence, until the clan explodes into open warfare. What would you have me do? Make your brother a gift of the Jacobite gold. <laughs> You'd have me commit treason to the crown. Sanction a Stuart restoration to the throne. The Stuart restoration is but an airy hope, my laird. There is no Jacobite army. The Highland clans are too busy reaving each other's cattle to even consider uniting. Well, Bonnie Prince Charlie lounges idly, being pampered by the Pope. Aye, aye. Aye, all that is true. Meanwhile, my own clan titles in the brink of civil war. Then remove the source of the immediate conflict. Give to go back to gold and you pacify him and his companions. So in order to stop any conflict within the family, the then as as you commit quiet. treason by renouncing yeah. your loyalty Whisper to one king or another, and giving the money Why and giving the funds back to the one person that betrays you. That's what I'm getting from yeah, it. I'm, I was never good with like, politics and stuff like that, because, let's face it, politics... Chief. It's a difficult one. But he knows only you can cry for war. It's difficult because everyone expects you to have an opinion on one side or another. It's like it's like either or. There's no in between. Bring my brother. I did not go in here. It just causes more arguments, more or less. So whether or not in this situation, whether the whether it will create peace or more warfare, we're just going to have to find out. Are we to stand here all day, or is there a purpose to the summons? Doodle's really walking on thin ice at the moment.
the rebel. See what it'll I thank you, brother. Ed, send a missive to the Duke of Sandringham, inviting him to a banquet in his honor. This one, the men of the household to keep their asses out of his reach. Sweet Christ, man, do not keep that tongue of yours from wagging. Very wise, lad, to get the measure of the Jacobite cause from an Englishman's perspective. Are you sure it that's a wise thing to do? To get back in my good graces, Ned Kevin. Get out of my sight. All three of you. Oh, God, they're really... They're all... All three of them are on, on thin ice. Seriously, I think if they do something else or say something out of line again, he's just like going to be like... He's going to just wash his hands of them. He's just going to go, right, sorry, but I'm not doing this. I should have been happy that the Mackenzie clan wasn't about to tear itself apart and that I prepared my relationship with Colin and Dougal. But I wasn't. The rift with Claire was an open wound that would not heal. I needed to do something, make a decision, choose a course of action. But what? I can't have time to hear. Oh, it's her again. La, La Hair, I think her name was. Not so secret. You found me so easily. You promised we would speak. Aye. Yeah, you did promise the to have a bit of a talk. I remember the first time I saw you, James Fraser. Coming through the gates at Leo. I was only seven years old, still a child. You didn't notice back then. Till my heart leapt when you were near. And you went away all those years. Mm -hmm. I never forgot you. I'm wet now. Mm -hmm. And twas a gallant thing you did. Marrying the assassin I could spare her from the Turkish. It is true that marriage was Dougal's arrangement, but... You didn't look very happy. You look like you're carrying the world on your back. Hang on. Wait a minute. I know you fancy him. I know that, but... but... When you took the beating to me in the great hall. No. But that... No, I wasn't wrong. But you felt the same. If you think about cheating on Claire with Le Her, then you've got yeah. another thing coming, mate. You're, all, you're already on... Oh, on rocky ground with Claire. I think doing some, if doing something like, whoa, no, no, no. She was married before. No, 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 no. Walk away. But Just I go. With no one. No. I want you. No. What are you doing? Stop. Oh my God, stop. Stop right there. The only one to have me. Don't do it. No, don't, don't. Push her away, you can't do that. I made a vow and I'll not break it. Even for a, a, a lass as bonny as you. Sorry. Sorry. Oh God, she must be so embarrassed. she expects she, he's not gonna just look he's not going to do that to Claire for the first time since I was a lad I felt uncertain about my next step all I knew is I had to find a way forward one step at a time Coleman the grove mended fences You're going to have to do something really big in order to ask for a forgiveness again. Our lives in the islands are steeped in tradition, custom and ritual. I've seen. Colin chose to risk looking weak, publicly changing his position because peace was more important than custom. I saw a rigid man, Ben. Made me mindful. How do 
Bigfoot? Wives obey their husbands. Husbands discipline them when they don't. Oh, that's how it was with my father. His father on and on and on back. But maybe for you and me it has to go a different way. Whoa, 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 what, what's this? I swear on the cross of my Lord Jesus and by the holy iron which I hold that I give you my fealty and pledge you my loyalty. If ever my hand is raised in rebellion against you again, then I ask that this holy iron may pierce my heart. You can see he's trying. Oh my god. Enough, Claire. She don't want me anymore. Do you wish to live separately? Yeah, that's what I should want. Smith, flashing your ring from my key. Why didn't you tell me that before? You gave it to me. I'm going to wait until I took you back to Lallybrook. So you'd know the place was as much yours as mine. to his heart in which he opens his hand. Oh my god, that is so cute. That is a... Oh. Well, at least they've made up, sort of. But yeah, it... I think they probably need... I think uh, they probably needed... Um, I mean, all married couples fight, all relationships, like, whether you're married or not, you, you are going to have your problems, let's face it. But, in, but at the end of it all, you still love each other, and that's what should really matter, and okay, I think I'm going to look away. They're going to, no, no dear. Well, I think, I think the, um, the whole uh, makeup sex is kind of uh, in order. <laughs> Jesus. to say to this. <laughs> I think after this, their relationship is going to get stronger and stronger because of, obviously, 
they've got to get it. I think they're probably past the honeymoon period and they're actually like getting into like not in that not in not in a sexual way, but in like obviously with like all the issues that's going on surrounding them. I mean, we've got the Jacobite army uh, and their and everything else that's going on. Well, the scars are, are like clearing up nicely because before they was really, really harsh as well. all of it sorted and it's going to turn out all right and he has made a pledge to her saying that if I ever raise a hand to you or do anything like that ever again then you've got my permission to to cut out my heart and or basically hopefully it's just the heart otherwise if it's anywhere else he ain't going to be happy <laughs> As Janie said, it's called falling in love, and he is fall they are falling in love with each other. It's a curse word. for fucking, there is shagging, there's um, canoodling, all sorts, I think there's all sorts of phrases. on it under the bed. Leary. Leary. Oh my god. My thoughts on this is like, wow. I just can't believe it. There's just so much that's happened. I, yeah. Colin knows about the Jacobite army. Leary is insanely jealous. Uh, 
of uh, their relate of uh, Jamie and Claire's relationship. They've had their first fight ever fight with dire consequences afterwards. Even though they did apologise, still tradition would take over. Like, there's so much excitement going on, and that was the reckoning, guys. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, and you want me to do the next episode, episode 10, please give me a big old thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel, Laura Twinkle. Hopefully you did enjoy it, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye!